cat. I love every kind of cat. I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't get hug every cat. Get hug every cat. So anyway, I am a cat lover and I love to run. Hi, Hostoop. It's Lauren and Charlie. Luna's around here somewhere. I'm the cat lady stitcher. Ouch. It is May 30th. It is the end of Stitch Mania for very, a lot of you. Some of you finished um, a while ago. If you were just doing 15 new starts or 18 new starts. But a lot of you guys, like me, were kind of making into your own thing. So you made it. Congratulations. Last day is tomorrow, so keep going strong. I guess by the time you see this, it will be tomorrow or the end, the last day of Stitch Mania, so whatever. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm nice and sunburned. I don't know if, yeah, nice little sunburn line there. This has been a crazy two weeks. Um, I'm kind of liking the, the two weeks, every other week updates, especially since I've only stitched on one thing since I last saw you guys. Um, there's a lot less pressure on me to like talk longer or I don't know, make sure I'm getting stuff done and filmed for you guys at the end of the day. Um, so I may continue this, TBD. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have had a great month of May. I hope you've had a great time with stitching. I've loved watching um, and keeping up with a lot of you guys on FlossTube and Instagram. Um, some of you I, I keep up with with stitchy mail and letters and texting and so that's been a lot of fun and encouraging and so um, that's exciting. Um, I hope you had a great Memorial Day. Uh, I, I got thankfully got a three-day weekend this past weekend so that's where I've gotten my sunburn from. I actually was planning on staying home so I'm just gonna brag on my friends for a second. My friends, um, I've told a lot, you know, I've mentioned before I live in the Nashville area. I worked in downtown Nashville. I go to church in downtown Nashville. All of my friends live in and around downtown Nashville but I actually live about 30 minutes north of Nashville and if you actually take into consideration where my house actually is it's more like 40 minutes depending on traffic so sometimes going to Nashville six sometimes seven days a week is just very draining um, and anyway I wasn't going to be able to hang out with my friends on Memorial Day we were gonna go to a park um, grill out go swimming that kind of fun stuff but I was really needing to to cut back on driving to and from Nashville and needed to save gas money and try to make it my gas last until today because I get paid tomorrow. Um, so I was like, last minute, I'm not gonna be able to make it guys, I'm sorry. So I left the group conversation and almost immediately, one of my really good guy friends was like, hey, where are you gonna be tomorrow? And I told him, well, I really wanted to go but I'll probably just be at home because I can't afford to waste the gas money. I've got to be able to make sure I can get to work back and forth this week. And he offered to drive all the way out to where I live. Now, mind you, he lives like in, I think, West Nashville. I live north of Nashville. And I think where we went, I'm so bad with geography, guys, but I think it was like South Nashville, maybe. Sounds about right. Either way, it was not on his way to come get me at all. Um, but he graciously picked me up so I could join in on the fun and it was a really great day. Um, got some sun, went swimming in a disgusting lake, grilled some burgers and brats, um, had a lot of fun, got rained out towards the end of the day and then I got to come home and relax and stitch and cuddle my cats. So it was a really great Monday. Um, it was nice not having to work either. So I hope you guys had a great fun Memorial Day. Um, trying to think if there's anything else interesting that's happened since I last saw you guys. Nothing really notable. Um, I didn't write anything down for this update because I know it's going to be a somewhat short video. As you can probably tell, I'm no longer at my office. I did remember, albeit a day late, I did remember to film it from home this week. So no awkwardness. 
no cheesy video um, of me being shy and no cheesy fake song for me to sing this week. I hope you enjoyed the cringeworthy moment. Um, that was my <laughs> poor attempt at rapping The Prince of Bel-Air with my rendition. I can actually do the song correctly, but anyway. Um, so yeah, let me just jump right in. So that's what I've been up to. For Stitch Mania, um, I have just been, I've been trying to get ahead on like actually being better about trying to budget my money. So I didn't have the funds to just go and buy a bunch of new starts that I wanted to do. Cause I know typically I believe Stitch Mania started with, and I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times by now, but Stitch Mania started with um, in the year of 2015. So it was 15 new starts for the year of 2015. Some people still do 15 new starts for the first 15 days. Some people have, you know, added one on for each year. So this year it was 18 for a lot of people. Some people do 31, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and I've just seen a lot of people kind of make it their own thing, which I think is really awesome. What I decided to do, um, if you don't recall, was monogamania, because I've got a few projects that I'm working on right now, um, or was working on, I've obviously taken a break from them, and I focused on one project, and that is Rosewood Manors and a Forest Grew. Oops, let's see, that's gonna be a bit of a glare. I've got a spotlight, let me see if I can like turn that off for a second. There we go. So this is and a forest grew. My goal was to try and finish the whole thing in the month of May. I don't actually remember where I was at the beginning of May. I think I was like right up in this corner right here. Um, so turn that back on. That's been my goal. I have not finished, but I've gone more than half. So I'm still pretty pleased with it. Last time you saw it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture here. That's what it looked like last time. Um, when I talked to you last, I had just started potentially getting to where I had, I don't think I had sewn the fabric yet. So I had shown you where I grossly miscalculated the amount of fabric that I need. I, I miss, I think what happened is I, when I bought my fabric, I knew that the fabric would be big enough with just a, maybe like an inch margin on each side. But when I actually started stitching, I forgot that that's how I calculated it. And so I gave as normal, like a two or three inch border and I start from the top left corner. So I gave it three inches on the top and like two or three on the left. And that ended up being a bad choice because then I was 20 stitches short on the right. So learn from my mistake and like quadruple check before you start a project. If you don't start in the middle that you're going to have enough room because this has been a headache. It has worked out. I will say that it's not terrible. It could be better, obviously, if I had not screwed up so horribly, it would be much more, it would be preferred to what, what was the case. But I think for what I've done and what I've got, I made it work. So what I told you guys last week was that I had cut the excess fabric from the left side <coughs> And I, uh, Luna may or may not knock me over in a second. She's thinking about it. Um, and I got some medium weight interface that you would use for like making project bags is why I had it and kind of like adhere it to the other side. I think I said, I don't think I'd done it yet. That was something that I'd seen suggested somewhere on the interwebs. So that's what I did. And it worked for the most part until I decided to put it on a Q-snap because I'm dumb and it immediately fell apart. So I had to do it again and then I decided to reinforce it by, um, I think it's called whip stitching. Anyway, I'll just show you what it what has turned out so far. So this is what I've gotten. Let's see if we can get the whole thing in there. So I've gotten the whole top half finished 
And then this down here, this is the end, like this is the bottom. So I have a ton of leftover fabric here. And I've almost completed the, the first page on the bottom. So this is Anna Forest Grew. I am loving it. I don't remember where I was last time because I haven't obviously looked at the picture before I'm, you know, showing this to you. But I'll give you a kind of a close-up view. <clears throat> Luna's going to help me out here. She's thinking about helping me. So this is what I've gotten done. I'm trying to see where it's at. Now, the words that are in the middle... I wasn't a big fan of the verse that was the scripture that was used for the middle. Not that I, you know, don't think it's a good scripture. I just kind of felt like the, I don't know, I just wasn't super pleased with how it fit in with the piece itself. So I messaged Stephanie from Lindy Stitches and she very kindly sent me her modifications and what she charted for this verse because she had done, charted this verse. It's Isaiah 55, 12. I think I did show this last time because I remember reading it now. Um, so I liked how that turned out. I'm trying to see, it's really hard to do this and not be able to see. There we go. Okay, and then this is where, here we go. This is where I had to sew the fabric in. So it's noticeable up close, um, but it's not terrible. It could be worse, like I said. And just so you guys never run into this problem, learn from my mistakes. Let me let, I'll give you a good up close view of this mishap here. So I use the interfacing and it's, it still actually comes apart a little bit. So I'm having to whip stitch after I've, um, whoops. Let's see, it's a little blown out. There we go. Done the cross stitches over the top. So once I've actually completed this, the stitching for that area, then I'll whip stitch it to make sure it's more secure. So that's that. I really like this little pear tree. It's so fun. Just some little pears chilling on that tree next to a birdie. There's some, you know, mistakes and miscounts in there, here and there, and I feel like I've done enough to mess this thing up that I just don't even care anymore. And here comes Luna. Luna, say hi. Feel free to move out of the way. There she goes. Okay. Sorry about that. Life with cats, you know. Um, anywho, so definitely not going to get this finished by tomorrow. Life and work have been a little bit chaotic. I've not stitched as much at work lately. Um, we go through seasons of busyness or what we call rush periods. And the last like week and a half has been one of those rush periods. I work in a call center for a major Christian publishing company and we provide a lot of Sunday school resources. And it's the beginning of a new quarter for Sunday school curriculum. So it's always gonna generate a lot of calls and confused people. <laughs> Um, especially in my role with the digital aspect of things. So it's been very busy for me, which means I have not had a lot of time to do any stitching at work, which is, you know, probably fine since I'm at work. But this is what I've gotten done this past few days. So that's what I've been working on. I did the this tree today and these birds, and I just love it. We had a mom, a mother bird, actually, um build a nest on the wreath that's hanging on our front door. And I think my mom tried to get rid of it. And then like the next day it was already back and it had eggs in it and they hatched and have already flown out of the nest. They're already gone. It's been like within like two or three days of them hatching, they barely had feathers on their wings and they're already flown from the nest. They're gone. So I liked stitching that today because it kind of reminded me of those cute little birdies. I think I took a picture of that. So I'll insert that here. So you know it's the end, almost the end of spring, beginning of summer, or there's new life everywhere. So, and then also I just really love that little fox. I feel like he needs like some backstitching or like, I don't know, do foxes have whiskers? 
I feel like there's just something, oops. I feel like it could use something around his face. I don't know, but I really like it. So that's where I'm at with that. That's all I've done this month is plant trees, build some, some birdies. That's about it. But I did get some haul. I don't remember if I mentioned this last time, um, but I have had my eye on some samplers for a while now. I don't know why. I didn't really like samplers when I first started stitching. I'm still iffy about mo a lot of them, but there's some samplers that have just like grabbed my eye and grabbed my attention and I have just like fallen in love. So one in particular that I've seen a few people post about and share about in Tube was the Sarah Brazier, Brazier, uh, Sarah Brazier sa uh, sampler. <coughs> Julie at Gulf Coast Stitches had a few of these left on her site. And every time that she kept posting a floss tube uh, shop update, she would mention that she only had a couple left, only have a couple left. And I was like, man, I really like that. There's something about it that just kept drawing my eye. And so I bit the bullet, I bought it. It arrived within like a day and a half. I mean, like it was super fast. So thanks, Julie. And it came. So moving on to haul because that's where we're at now is, let me turn this off again. Sarah Brazier. I'm very excited to start this. I don't have fabric for it and I don't have um, any floss for it or threads. I'm thinking about maybe doing silks, but I'm super poor. So I'm probably gonna end up just doing it in DMC because more than likely, I'll probably have a lot of the colors that I need just based off of other products I'm working on. Um, but something about that middle section, that, that deer right there, something about that just grabs my attention and makes me just wanna stitch this so bad. I don't know. But I know there are quite a few of you guys doing it. I joined the Facebook group for it. Um, a lot of people on that Facebook group have started it already. Um, they're gonna be a sale for it that I believe starts, I think they bumped it back to sometime mid-July because a lot of people were um, having some, not issues, but like back order on some fabric and stuff that people were purchasing for the sale. So, I'm gonna jump on that. I'm very excited, so I'll probably start that once I can find fabric. Um, Michelle Bindi Stitchy, Michelle Garrett, is getting um, conversions for her silks from, I think it's Avis Silks. I don't know how to say the French term for it. It calls for Avis, Avas, A-V-A-S Silks. It's like a Vera Soie or something, um, which I think are pretty expensive or just hard to get maybe. And so Michelle is having, I th what is her name, Jeanette maybe? Forgive me if I'm wrong because I'm like obsessed with her. I want her to be my friend. But the owner of Acorns and Threads, she's always in um, videos when, oh, I'm drawing a blank on everyone's names right now, but Pretty Southern is her channel name. <laughs> I can see your face, but I swear every time she updates, updates a floss tube, she's doing it from acorns and threads. I want to say that her name is Jeanette or Jeannie, Jen, something like that is the owner. Either way, I've never met her and I've like no, nowhere near acorns and threads that I could even go, but I want to be your friend. If you watch floss tube and you find this, be my friend because you look like a fun lady. Um, anyway, that all that to say is that Michelle is getting her to help um, convert those silks into Gloriana silks. So as she gets those converted, she's been sharing them on Instagram. And so if I can afford it, there is, I know I've mentioned before, there's not technically an LNS, at least as far as cross-stitching goes in the Nashville area. However, last time, the only time I've been there they're mostly an embroidery shop. However, the LNS that was in Nashville that closed because the owners retired, there was a, a woman that um, was doing framing for that LNS that is now at this other shop, 
that's mostly embroidery that um, and is helping with the framing. I think was encouraging them to get some more cross stitch fabric and things like that. And they were just starting to get cross stitch fabric when I went to visit a couple months ago. Um, and sadly, because of my work schedule, it's really hard for me to get out there because of their hours. So I'm hoping that when I go visit again, they will have more cross stitch supplies. I know they had tons of floss because, you know, embroiderers use a lot of the same flosses and threads that we do. So I will probably attempt to get some of those glory on us. Maybe not for everything, but just for some of them, just to try it out. I think that's all the haul that I have. I'm pretty sure that I've gotten, I got my color and cotton floss club for May, like right after I posted last, the last floss tube, but I don't have it handy and I'm sure by now a lot of you guys have seen it. I posted a picture of that on my Instagram like as soon as I got it. So all that leaves is, making sure, yes. All that leaves is stitchy mail, or I don't know what to call it because I don't have someone fun to say mail call with like Pam and Steph do, and I don't know what else to call it. But I got some stitchy mail, my first stitchy mail. I'm very excited about it. Um, so I got two things. First things first is Jenny at Long Dog Stitcher. If you guys have watched her most recent episode, you will see, notice that she took on the daunting task of continuing to stitch on my Hogwarts pattern that I gave up on. Jenny, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't think you believed me. I mean, I, I know that you do now, but like, it's a hot mess. First of all, it was the first thing I ever really stitched on. So the beginning stitches are not awesome. <laughs> they get better, I think. I hope they get better towards like the further on it goes. But the pattern itself is just super pixelated. It looks great from like 50 yards away, but up close is not, not very pretty. Um, but she really loved the idea of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Cross Stitch. So I sent it to her and she sent me a cute uh, little thank you card and some floss and I don't know oh, oh there it goes and it's just so cute it says you're a show worth binging I mean I don't know if I would binge my my show because I feel like I'm awkward most of the time but thank you Jenny that was so sweet um, and she also sent me I wonder I don't know if this is like her favorite floss color or if this is just whatever, but she also sent me some 3078 DMC, which I know I'll be able to use. I bet you I can use that for some of the border on my Sarah Brazier, because there's a lot of the yellow in there. So thank you, Jenny, for that sweet card. I loved it. And then, <coughs> last but not least, Kathy from Crafty Cat Stitcher. Yes, I said that right. Oh my gosh, y'all. I was not expecting this. She asked for my address um, on my last video. So I sent it to her because who doesn't love a pen pal? And not like three or four days later, I got this package in the mail. And I, she told me to expect it. So I'm terrible. I actually told my mom that if I got mail, if I got a package to open it and send me a picture of it while I was at work. Because I could not. Luna. Luna did that again. She knocked over my phone. Blame the cat. Luna, say you're sorry. She's not sorry. Um, <laughs> hopefully that won't happen every week. Cats, you know. Um, so, anywho, I couldn't wait until I got home because I'm. I just when I know it's there. I'm, I love surprises if I don't know they're coming. So if I know it's coming, I have no patience. So let me show you what Kathy sent me because I'm so excited and it's of course perfect. So I'm already somewhat using some of it. So I'm kind of breaking the rules, but not really because I'm still showing it to you. Look at this adorable reusable cat bag. It has cats all over it. And they are super cute. 
I currently don't have a great way to stash a lot of my like patterns or, or anything. So I've been putting some patterns and kits that I have that I haven't started yet in here. So that's been really perfect for that because cats, duh, it says go green. It's a great reusable bag. I could use it for groceries, whatever, but I'm gonna use it for cross stitch. So that was really awesome. And then she also sent me a really sweet card um, with a bumblebee on it because that is the fashion. Right now the trend is bumblebees, or maybe not bumblebees, just honeybees, that's what it is. Honeybees. I don't know my types of bees, I don't know. Wow, that's very washed out, there we go. It's a queen bee. Okay, so she sent me that, and look, y'all, I need to rewrite this on here, but see that right there? It, at one point, said Bowen, 26. Needles! I had two, I had two needles. And now I have one, two, three, four, five. There are five in this bag and I already took one out because I was hoping you wouldn't notice, but now I just ruined it because I'm already using it. But I got six Bowen needles in size 26. So thank you, Kathy, because I need them. I lose them fairly frequently because, I don't know, I'm just really bad at keeping track, I guess. Okay. There's one other thing, well, two other things, but this is probably my favorite. Let me see if I'm gonna use this as a, and I'm already using it. My first ever scissor fob, okay? But check it out. Let's see if I get it stopped moving. It's cats, because yes. That is a cat right there. It's backwards, hold on, i am turn that around. Look at it, it's a kitty on a moon. Abby, top knot stitcher. Do you see this right here? Two of your favorite things. It's a cat and a moon, be jealous. I don't know where she got this charmer, I'd send you one because look at it. It's perfect, cats on a moon. Mm. And look at all these cute little cat charms. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it, like when I got this, I took it to work the next day and I forced all of my coworkers to hear how excited I was to get all of this cat related stitchy stuff in the mail. And they were like, okay, cool, you're weird. Um, but I made them all look at this like 12 times because it's awesome. And then last but not least, this is Leisure Arts Cross Stitch Cats Galore. Ooh, ooh, it is a book full of cat patterns. I'm gonna turn this off again, hold on. Check it out. Look at those sassy kitties. There. Oh, <laughs> Luna wants to see it too. Luna, come here. Stop knocking stuff over. Say hello. Say hello. Hi. I missed you. Okay. Kitty's in the garden. This is my cat. I'm pretty sure this is Charlie and Luna right here because I kid you not, if I have towels and they are not hanging up out of reach, they are sitting on top of the towels. These are so fun. I haven't stitched anything except for this Anna Forest group pattern in a hot minute, so I'm very excited about these. Um, also, cat on a sweater. If you think I won't stitch that onto a sweater, you are dead wrong because I love kitschy things. That was super popular, I'm sure, like in the 80s, and I'm sure people don't wear cross stitch on sweaters now, but I'm gonna make cats cross stitching on sweaters a thing again. That's gonna happen. I will learn how to do it because that's really fun. Um, what else we got in here? Out to lunch, Psh. fishing in the fishing bowl. What does that say? Oh, A, B, C. It's a cat alphabet. <laughs> that cat is super cute. I mean, who are we kidding? They're all cute. 
Look at all of these kitties. Look at them. Okay. Let me make sure there's not any others. Nope. So that, you know that one sweater I just showed you? That one's... Oh, there's like three more. Okay, check these out. That needs to happen. Um, Abby, if you'll if I stitch you one of these, will you wear it? Can we be cat shirt twins? Also, Steph Schaffner, Steph from Payment Steph, if you watch this, can we all be cat sweater friends? I'll make us all one. Because look how fun this is. It's like begging to be made. Begging. Like it it it, it needs to be made right now. Also, this one. Cats have personality. And stop it. Look, she's even playing with a ball of yarn. What? I mean, really? Okay. I could show you guys this all day long. Not everyone likes cat patterns like I do because I know I'm crazy. Um, but I am very thankful. <laughs> this really made my day when I got this last, I think it was like last week now, Kathy. So thank you so much. Um, it brought a huge smile to my face. And... It's been a crazy couple of weeks, so I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, guys, we've made it. We have made it through Stitch Mania. This became a much longer video than I intended it to be for only having one thing to show you, so look at that. Um, and I think last time I started doing the what I'm all into or best new thing this week, um, cause I like it when you guys share fun stuff that you're doing. So, um, what I'm all into this week is rereading Harry Potter or listening to it. I've been, uh, I have an audible account, so I listen to audiobooks while I stitch a lot of times or driving or whatever. And I think I mentioned that I was listening to Across the Universe last time. I don't know if I did or not, but Michelle suggested it, Michelle Bendy. And so I thought, okay, well, her review was great. I'm going to listen to it. I finished that in like a day and a half and immediately went and purchased the next book and listened to that the next day. And then I had no more money to buy or no more credits to buy another one. So I was unable to get the, the third installment of that trilogy. So I'm like very impatiently waiting for that one. So while I've been waiting, I have been decided to re-listen to Harry Potter. So normally I start all the way at the beginning because I don't like to start in the middle or at the end or whatever. But that means I've read the first three books like, guys, there's more times than I can count. And it, you might think this sounds far-fetched, but it is a very uh, conservative estimate for me to say that I've read the first three books 50 times. I read them a lot. So that being said, uh, I started with book four and I've already finished it and I'm halfway through book five and it's been actually a lot of fun and it's making me want to do all the Harry Potter things. So what I'm all into this week as normal is Harry Potter and cats. So sorry, I'm like super itchy because the sunburn, it's getting to that stage. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have any shout outs this week because I did watch a couple of new floss tubers, but it actually seems like because of, Stitch Mania, people were either just posting like little tidbits as they went and I didn't watch those or they were just fewer and far between and so I either haven't gotten to them or just forgot to take notes and so I don't want to just do like a random shout out without actually having something to tell you about it. So I'm done. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, evening, morning whatever it is when you watch this and um let's get summer started off right and i'm so excited to finally have summer sunshine and longer days and lots of stitching time so i hope you guys have a great week get lots of stitching done and i will see you next time cats. bye i love every kind of cat i just want to hug all of them but i can't